Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. It's chemistry. Alright, and today we are going to be looking at another new topic. We are done with uh, chemical bonding and chemical uh, combination. Uh, if you have not watched the topic, please check the previous episodes on this channel. Alright, so today we are beginning with uh, uh, a new topic like I said, and that is kinetic theory of matter and gas laws all right so there are so many important uh, some simple questions that come from this topic and also there are some very very important things that you need to understand uh assailant points that may come out in your exam and that is why you should not play with any topic in chemistry you may say that this topic is easy it's simple and you know you may not take it serious but trust me something can just will take you apart like maybe uh the graph representing charles law or boy's law how do you know the graph if you see a graph now we know that this one is talking about charles law or boy's law right this is what i want to looking at in this topic but before we get to before we get to gas laws we are going to talk about kinetic theory of matter and so what does this theory state the kinetic theory of matter postulates that uh, elementary particles that elementary particles elementary particles are continually are continually or constantly in motion constantly in motion and therefore possess what you call kinetic energy before now if i've done work energy and power in physics or in another topic Right, you may may be heard that word. May, may have heard that word that uh, potential energy is energy that is possessed by a body due to what is what rest, right? Because what is in a state of rest, that's why it possess what potential energy. But kinetic energy is energy that is possessed by a body by a body in motion. All right. So elementary particles, the kinetic theory of matter postulates that elementary particles are continually or constantly in motion and because they are continually in motion colliding with each other and with the walls of the container and so on and so forth right because they are constantly in motion right they possess what kinetic what energy right and these particles move with, with varying speeds they move with varying speed and because they move with varying speed that means they will have what kinetic what energy before continuing know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the o3 schools jam cbt app it is the best cbt app available for practice it has all the past questions that you need and it has a wonderful feature that no other jam app has which is the utme challenge it's like a mock challenge that is done every saturday all students in nigeria that are taking the jam exam participate in that challenge to win prizes but winning the prize is not really the most important thing because if we participate in the challenge you will see your score once you see your score you see your physics score your chemistry score your uh, your math score whatever subject you are doing you see the score and then you will see what your what your weakness you see the areas where you are lacking and you can then begin to what be begin to improve them with the videos on this channel with the books you are reading and with the practice you are doing on the app it's all in your hands to succeed with that app so go to play store right now download the app Activated activation is just 2500 naira. I don't want to talk about too much about the app because this is why we are here. So we are seeing again that what the kinetic theory of matter postulates that elementary particles are continually or constantly in motion, and because of what this motion they possess what kinetic what energy. And we say that what these particles have varying speeds, they have varying speed, and because they have varying speed, they will also possess what kinetic what energy so this is as important as what as you should note that what the theory of matter the kinetic theory of matter is talking about what particles and what and their motion and because of their motion they possess what we call kinetic energy all right so now another important thing you should know is that as their uh, uh as their kinetic energy and speed is increasing with increase in temperature right because it's as you increase temperature the particles the randomness of the particles the motion of the particles begin to increase right so now as the speeds as the, as the speeds and the kinetic energy are increasing right so also so also their distance apart the distance apart begin to what increase 
all right know that what the mean of this energy that we're talking about here the mean mean m e a n the mean of this energy is called the average average kinetic energy the mean of these energies is called what the average kinetic what energy so as the speed of the particles and the average kinetic energy are what are increasing so also are their what their distance apart their distance apart begin to also what begin to increase right so as you increase temperature the particles the randomness the entropy of the particles begins to what to increase also so uh, because of this their distance apart also what increase all right so i would know this it is important to know that the kinetic theory of matter which postulates that elementary particles are continually or constantly in motion are supported by some wonderful phenomenon number one is what is brownian motion brownian motion by robert brown right number two is diffusion it's another phenomenon and then number three is what osmosis right what is Brana motion? Brana motion is what is the random movement of what particles of fluid, right? Is the random movement of what or particles of what of fluid. Why what diffusion is the movement of what molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of what lower concentration. Why what osmosis in the other on the other hand is a movement of what molecules from a region of low concentration. The region of what higher concentration through semi-permeable membrane you must have heard heard what this definition or known this definition before now so this one should not be an issue just to let you know that what that the kinetic theory of matter right is what supported by this phenomenon these three phenomena i'll go over again brown motion the random movement or motion of what of particles of a fluid right diffusion movement of molecules from a region of what higher concentration to a region of lower concentration and osmosis with the movement of our molecules from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration through semi-permeable world membrane so now that we have seen this now it's also important to know that the kinetic theory of matter kinetic theory of matter studies they study ideal gases they study ideal or imaginary gases they studied the imaginary or ideal gases they study imaginary or ideal gases all right so kinetic theory of matter studies imaginary or ideal gases they do not study they do not study real gases or laboratory gases right the kinetic theory of matter studies imaginary or ideal gases right they do not study real gases or what laboratory what gases and because of this kinetic theory of matter has some assumptions there are some assumptions which you should know and i want to begin with those assumptions immediately one the first assumption is that what gas molecules right gas molecules move randomly along a straight line one gas molecules or molecules of gas move randomly along a straight path colliding with one another with one another and with the walls of the container all right so this one or this is the first assumption that gas molecules move randomly along a straight path right they collide with one another as they are going they collide they are hitting one another and so on and so forth and what with the walls of what of the container right that is the first assumption the second assumption says that what collisions of gas particles or molecules is perfectly elastic is perfectly elastic you know, on, the, on the road there what it means here is that what is that that is i.e it means that what the collisions of what of these gas particles occur or happen without without loss in energy in energy 
all right so number two collisions of gas particles is perfectly what is perfectly elastic this means that what when the gas particles collide as they are colliding with each other there's no loss of energy there's no loss in energy at all right now number three the actual the actual volume of gas particles is negligible negligible all right the actual volume of what of gas particles themselves is negligible is negligible right then number four the cohesive force between between the gas particles is negligible negligible all right so and then number five of course is another one uh the fifth one uh, is talking about the what the temperature of the gas particles the temperature of the gas what molecules or gas particles is the what is the average kinetic energy of the gas particles all right so we'll go over them again number one you said the gas molecules would move randomly along a straight line or along a straight path colliding with one another and with the walls of the container right that's the first assumption the second one said that collision of gas particles is perfectly elastic and I explained when i said that what well, collision of gas particles occur without loss in energy so as they are colliding with one another and with the walls of the container there is no loss in energy at all then number three the actual volume of gas particles is negligible right then four the coercive force between the gas particles is negligible and the last one the temperature of the gas particle is the what is the average kinetic energy of what of the gas particles all right so these are what the uh, the assumptions in what we do in what they, they, they did in what in kinetic theory of matter and you should know that they are very easy now they're very easy so please just note them down because you may see what a question and we told well we told which of the following is not an assumption of the word kinetic theory of matter so if you see this if you know this even if you don't know them completely when you understand them once you read the options you'll be able to what to uh, be able to um, uh, know the the option which is wrong right so there are so many of these kind of questions in the old school jump up right in the next episode or in the last episode of this topic we may what give you what uh i will give you what assignment on them we'll source them out for you and then you want to answer go to the app and what and answer them all right so these are the assumptions of the what of the kinetic theory of matter why is there also what well, another important thing to note is that what well, that the kinetic theory of matter uh is useful in studying what uh the uh, physical properties of gases right the kinetic theory is very useful in what study the physical properties of gases and of course these uh, properties are studied uh using what uh the, the gas laws we have boy's law boy's law by robert boy right we have charles law Right, we have what Graham's law. Right, we have uh, 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 Graham's law. We have Boyce's law, Charles' law. We have Dalton, Dalton's law. And these are some of what the what the, the gas laws are going to all look at. So, uh, as we continue what with this episode in this topic, right? So you will know when you're, if you're following our episodes, you know when we leave when we stop. A particular topic and when we are entering into another topic so this first topic is just an introduction into what kinetic theory of matter and gas laws so in the next topic we are going to what, take one of these gas laws and what and treat them what squarely right know how to plot their graphs and so on and so forth so that it will be very easy for you when you see it in an examination setting all right so uh if you're not too busy please give this video a like just give it a like right do like this like means that what other students can easily find this video when you, when you click on that like button below this video other students will find this video easily right if you of course if you subscribe to this what and click on the subscribe button that red subscribe button below the video once you click on it right whenever we publish a new video you'll be notified on your phone but i'm go to the schools as publish a new video right you can share this video to your friends so that they can also benefit all right so if if if, if, if i've done that then of course 
My name remains Owolabi Tangod, and I will see you in the next class. Thanks for watching.